welcome 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 on today's video we're going to be working on the new fiesta new and we're going to start on that broken spring so let's get right on to it now i've got the wheel off jack stand sits perfectly under the control arm and you can see there the broken spring then notch is to hold the spring in place but because it broke at the bottom the spring sitting actually up there instead of in the notch we need to get the clip under here off just slides off get the brake hose out the way remove the drop link here hold it with the five millimeter allen key and that's supposed to be a 15 millimeter and same at the bottom because since we're here we're going to replace the drop link as well so i'm going to spray a bit of wd-40 on all these parts and hopefully they come out come out without any uh, so let's get this spring replaced Also before I get anything off, I'm gonna give it a little scrub, try to make my life easier. That has a lot of rust. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top tap the um, tap the socket in, make sure I get a good grip on that bolt. That's it, I got it to move first. Now I'm gonna hold it with the five millimeter Allen key and with a 15 millimeter spanner, I'm gonna get that nut off. I managed to get the drop link off. This is off as well. It's just a clip that slides in from behind. But when I do the brakes, because they'll need done as well. When I do the brakes, I'll try and find a new one of these. I did struggle with the drop link because it's really rusted, as you can see. But there's a notch there, there's a flat side here that you can put a 17 millimeter on it to counter hold it, otherwise the whole thing will just spin. That's what I done, but because it's so rusty, it did take me a while to get it off. So now what we're doing is removing this collar bolt. And as you can see, there's a lot of rust. I'm actually going to get my drill and clean it with the drill and see if it will come off. Fingers crossed. Got my wire wheel attachment on the drill. Let's go.
feels a bit smooth it's kind of clean hopefully you can break it off with the brake bar here we go moment of truth 15 millimeter on a 20 or 21 inch brake bar Feels that the 14 goes in better. For some reason, the 15 fits snugly. Maybe because of the rust buildup. So I'm going to attempt the 14 in and I'm going to try with the 14. Yeah, it's on all right. like it's slipping I've got some bolt remover socket here but I'm really not sure these are going to work but I've got to try this Start moving. Yes, let's get the ratchet. Yes, I'm loving this. Yes, got it off. Now that we got the color bolt off, it's time to loosen the top three bolts, nuts actually, under the bonnet. They're 13 millimeters. And then we're gonna work on get that suspension leg out of the collar.
just gonna leave this down because it's a bit windy so those are loose now we need to hammer that down i'm gonna try with the quarter inch because i don't have a knuckle spider so a quarter inch extension i'm just gonna stick it on the bottom of the collar and give it a quarter turn just to spread it a little bit and then we can hammer the collar down So like I said, quarter inch in there just to spread this a little bit. And now we're gonna need to hammer this down to remove it from the suspension leg. And also have a jack stand ready because you'll need to support this because nothing else will be holding it other than the control arm and the drive shaft. So we'll have something to support when you get the switch leg on. I just realized something. Having the jack here on the lower control arm doesn't give me the movement I need to get this off. That's why I was banging on it and wasn't budging. So I moved it there to under the subframe and that's where I'm keeping it while I'm getting this off. But either way I'm gonna take the top three bolts. I've got two off already so I'm gonna remove the last one and move this down and then try to leverage out. about time what a struggle it is now time to put the fiesta back together it's been sad like this for a few days now because my tools weren't deep enough to get the um, top top mount nut so i had to take the whole assembly to my mechanic to get it replaced i previously had mentioned that the spring was broken at the bottom but it actually broke at the top and probably that's why there was a clunk every time I turned the steering wheel full lock but now I've got it all ready I can put it in the car and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the top in first and put the three nuts holding it that means that then you can spin the strut on its bearings and align everything because this back part here has to align with the opening in the knuckle right there and then the pinch bolt goes through it okay so let's get this oh I need to get the nuts first I've got all the nuts here. Let's get this fed through here first. the nuts thread up there I can go for this check them and you're gonna have to push it down on the knuckle for the 
bottom of the strip to go in. And as I said, I need to turn this to align it properly. Now for that to be fully in, I'm going to place my jack under here and jack it up so it fully seats in the suspension. the jack under the ball joint and now I need to jack it up until that fully seats in the knuckle and I'm gonna put the camera back here and use both hands to try to work it in that's fully seated now I put a bit of grease on the inside of the knuckle and also on the on the base of the strut and I did there where the bolts gonna the new bolt I might mention I got a new bolt for that where the bolt meets the knuckle and then need to put the drop link and torque everything down it's more or less put together now I've got the retaining clip there, wasn't the easiest thing to do, being a bit brittly. I've got that bracket there, just need to torque everything down. I'm just about done here, all I have to do is torque everything down. And if you notice, I pointed to this side to thread the bolt in, but it goes through the front, it's already there, just need to torque everything down that's 85 newton meters i'm gonna leave it in the description anyway but that's 85 newton meters the bottom one for the drop link is 55 that one is 48 and the top bolts under the bonnet they're only 25 newton meters there's no particular order to torque these so i'm gonna start from the bottom up Thank <laughs> you. 
to get to. And you can you can counter all the on the notch in the back so it doesn't spin. And this is a 17 millimeter nut. be able to fit my torque wrench under there without without the extension but first I'm gonna use the ratchet just to thread the bolt the nut I mean Same deal, counter roll with the 17. Just turn it so that the notch spins as well. So now I've got a 17 control in it and this is 55. It's easier said than done because you can talk the firm one but you cannot talk the re real ones unless you have something called a crow foot I believe so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna torque the firm one sort of have a feel for it and then I'm gonna try to replicate on the real ones and try it
that's it. And as I mentioned before, the top ones, it's only 25 millimeters. Torque inside the 25. No, it's not deep enough, but because that stud it's hitting the bottom of the extension, so you can just set the socket there, and instead of pushing the extension all the way in, you can leave it the a little bit out and like that you can torque it really doesn't take that much I know the, jo the job is done. Almost like that. All the stuff, the wheels. He has the 110, 110 meter meter. Finally the car is really worthy. Guys, you have no idea how good it feels to be driving this now. The steering wheel is very very light, the suspension has no more clunks, and the car feels very very soft because it has practically no weight whatsoever. It feels really really good to be in the driver's seat now. I'm having even more fun now than I was before, even though the car has no power. But yeah guys, that's it. That's uh, how I done the suspension spring. And please feel free to comment. Let me know what you would have done different. And don't forget to share with your friends as well. That's very important. And also, if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.